everyone, it's Thursday, so it's a throwback Thursday here on Love. Oh, oh, the baby just kicked, and it was intense. I need to breathe for a second. What was I saying? It's Thursday, it's throwback Thursday, a day of the week where here on Love Food Money, I like to reminisce about something in the past. My husband and I just got back from lunch and often when we go out to lunch, we spend a lot of time figuring out where we're gonna eat. And today when we were pitching each other ideas, I jokingly said Panera and we both laughed like, oh. <laughs> the reason why we laughed is because we've officially broken up with Panera. Back in its heyday, Panera was the when I was in college, in the early 2000s, I was obsessed with Panera. We had two Paneras near my college campus and I would eat at Panera all the time. Then I got out of college and moved to LA and the closest Panera near me was 30 minutes away and I would do the drive just to get their turkey artichoke panini, which was like this roasted turkey sandwich with like an artichoke spinach dip spread pressed into a hot panini. It was so good that I was willing to drive 30 minutes for it. And they had this fresh squeezed lemonade and everything there seemed fresh. And then they just started opening thousands and thousands of more restaurants, I think is what happened. And their quality, their food quality went way downhill. The last time I went to Panera, God, it was probably maybe six months ago at this point. It was the most disappointing meal I've ever had. They, their quality is, is just, it's just terrible now. And I know that my husband and I are not the only two who think this. We've talked to other people about Panera going downhill and everyone seems to agree that Panera used to be a lot better than it is. I miss the old Panera. Panera, what happened to you? Did you just get too big for your br britches? Breaches? Br britches? What's that saying? Too big for your shorts? I think that's what it means. Oh my God, I remember in high school when I worked at the mall and there was a Panera in our mall. I ate Panera chicken salad sandwiches for my lunch pretty much every single day. And then I would go to Mrs. Fields and get those mini peanut butter cookie nibblers. Those were so good. And I would order like a giant cherry Coke. I didn't really think about calories in high school. No, I did not. I'm very disappointed in Panera. <laughs> what? It's funny to step out and the first thing I hear is I'm very disappointed in Panera. <laughs> just, my whole video is about Panera having gone downhill. You agree. Tender blue steak sandwich. See, my husband, my husband just overhears me and just gave a shout out to his tender blue steak sandwich. Apparently that was good. Guess what they don't make anymore? The tender blue steak sandwich. If you are a Panera fan and want to defend yourself, comment below. Or if you work for Panera, tell me what the hell happened. Or maybe you don't know and maybe you disagree. Disagree, agree, let's chat about it. And uh, to you, Panera, I say, I dare you to try to win me back. I dare someone from Panera Corporate to send me a message, love food money, no, love food money at gmail.com and try and win me back, huh? Huh? So that's my throwback Thursday ode to the old Panera. I miss you. Those were some good years. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. I post videos every single weekday. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Angie Greenup. Keep up with twinning on VH1. It's on VH1.com, y'all. If you haven't seen it, go online and watch On Demand. It's constantly being repeated on VH1. All you have to do is turn on your TV on the VH1 and you'll probably catch it accidentally. <gasps> and other than that, I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> you were in yesterday's video. Come on, Ken Rog.